How's it going guys, it's Josh here, and if like me you own either a Galaxy S9 or S9 Plus, you've likely just had or will be getting very soon depending on where you live, the new Android 9 Pie update, which brings along with it Samsung's new One UI and some very cool new features. I'm going to show you guys 7 of my new favourite features today, let's get straight into it. So number 1, Night Mode. We can now enable a system-wide dark mode which applies a dark theme to the device including the notification tray, the settings menu and all Samsung apps. It saves battery, is easier on your eyes especially at night and just looks a lot better in my opinion. So next up, stay on lock screen. Now something that annoyed me about intelligent scan before is that if you just wanted to check your lock screen notifications, by the time you'd done so your phone had already registered your face and irises and unlocked your phone. So we now have a feature which allows us to stay on the lock screen and require a swipe to go to the home screen, very similar to how the iPhone works. This is probably one of my favourite new features and it's the new gesture navigation. Now I've always been one to hide the navigation bar in apps for a full screen experience and before you'd have to swipe up to make the nav bar appear to then press home or back. Now you can hide it completely and instead just swipe up in the appropriate area of the screen to either go to home, go back or switch apps. It's so much simpler. You can also choose to either have mini gesture hints at the bottom of the screen or get rid of them entirely which I'd highly recommend doing once you get used to them for that fully immersive experience. Another new feature, rotation toggle. So auto rotate still works as normal but if I were you I would turn it off to take advantage of this new feature. Now, when you turn your phone sideways, a little icon will pop up prompting you to allow the screen to rotate. It's handy in situations where you might want to turn your phone sideways and not have it auto-rotate, while still giving you full control over when you do want it to. This feature is automatically enabled when auto-rotate is turned off. Next up, lift to wake. Now this is really useful and is a long overdue feature in my opinion. Before you'd have to press the power button or hard press the home button to activate the screen to then unlock your phone with intelligent scan. But if you enable this new feature you can just lift your phone and the screen will turn on automatically while at the same time starting intelligent scan to get you into your phone as quickly as possible with the least amount of effort. And in my experience it's a lot quicker, it already starts scanning as soon as you lift it so you get into your phone straight away. This next one is a small but rather cool new feature. Instead of having to hold the power and volume button for what seemed like an eternity, you can now just press them and it will instantly take a screenshot. This is automatically enabled with the new update. And finally, lockdown mode. Within secure lock settings, you can toggle a show lockdown option, which when enabled will allow you to hold the power button and select lockdown mode. Once you press this, all forms of smart lock and biometric unlocking are disabled, meaning the only way to get into your phone is to enter the correct PIN number. If for example you're asleep, it means nobody could get into your phone by placing your finger on the fingerprint scanner without you knowing. If you're the sort of person that gets really paranoid about stuff like that, then this is a new feature for you. And that's it guys, those are 7 of my new favourite features in the Galaxy S9 Android Pie slash Samsung One UI update. Let me know down in the comments section below if there's any new features that you really like or anything that you don't like, I'd love to hear. If you did enjoy today's video, I'd really appreciate it if you could drop me a like rating and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. Thanks for watching today guys, I'll catch you all in the next one.